In this lesson, we're gonna create our first action and it's add item, okay? So let's create it, add item. It takes two parameters, state and action. And when we fire this action, we're gonna update state dot items to push to them, push our action dot payload. That payload is this item, the price and the title and so on. Now let's save and let's export that action and let's try it. We're gonna go to our food screen inside our food cart component. Where's our food cart? Yes, here, here it is. We're gonna dispatch the add item in this on press function. So let's import our dispatch, const dispatch equals to use this patch, okay? So now let's dispatch that action. It's called add item. And we're gonna give it this item. This item contains the title, price, and the image, okay? Let's add it here. Now let's try to add an item. When we press here, I've added it. But when we press again and again and again, he added seven times and that's totally bad. I want to add it just one time and when I press here, the product appear and the quantity is gonna be seven, okay? So let's first show our products here in our card screen, okay? So in our order list component, order list, you can find it inside src components order order list, okay? Let's use your selector. We can copy it from here to get our items. Just don't forget to import it and to import the type too, okay? And let's replace this data with these items. And let's press save. Now we got here our data. Look here, th that's our data. When, for example, let's add this french fries now it appears here but the price is nan because we didn't add the price and those are duplicated how to solve those two problems first let's solve the problem of the price okay so let's go to our card reducer and add this important step and it's gonna be sum equals to action dot payload dot price let's press save and try to add a product let's go now we have here the price let's add another one we have here the price but we have still our problem those are duplicated three times so we need to create an if condition here if the product exists just increase its quantity don't add it just increase his quantity, okay? So let's create this constant called is exist equals to state dot items. This array of items that contains those, okay? Because it got updated because we pushed a many items, okay? So this state dot items, those items dot find. Find what? Find the item item.id equals to action.payload.id this id come from our items those that have an id and that have an id and that have an id i want this id of that item equals to the id of action.payload where we got that action.payload we got it from here from here, when we add item, we pass that as a payload. So we pass this item and this item has an ID. So this ID of this item from this data, okay, when it equals to the items in our cart, so we identify that he is existing, okay? 
So let's create our condition. If, if he exists, if he exists, just do something. Else, just push it as a new one. Okay? If he exists, do something. If he is not exist, push it as a new one. Okay, what if he exists? If he exists, just add its quantity and its sum. So it's gonna be is exist dot sum. Add to it plus equals that mean add action dot payload dot price. Just add the price that we got here when we dispatch an action. Let's press save and try. We got an error here. Just remove that sign. Okay. Now, if he exists, just increase its price, but please don't add it again. Okay. So now let's try. Let's try to add this kebab. Great. I have pressed multiple times and he just add a one product to the cart, but we open that cart, we got a lot of prices, okay? I mean the sum of it. We can use KFC. When we press one time, we've added one time. When we press again, look, this number isn't updated. And when we press here, we got the sum of it. And because we just increased our the price, we here increased our the price, we didn't push it again. If we use this function, we push we push it and we got it duplicated, but if he exists, just we add the price. Now let's add the quantity. The quantity is, will be like the price. When we add it at the first time, the quantity is gonna be one because we add it for, for just one time. But if he exists and I want to add it again, so let's add another property called is exist dot kty I mean the quantity and add action dot payload dot quantity or you can add one now let's try let's add kfc one more time and press here we just have one kfc let's make it two we just hear one but here we have two okay Let's just add three French fries. One, two, three. We have here two products, but we win up in here. We have here three French fries, and that is the sum of the price. Don't worry about those red warning. It's a TypeScript issues. Let me fix them quickly. And in TypeScript course, I'm going to explain all of them. So let me add our TypeScript quickly, please. Now I have added interfaces, TypeScript interfaces, don't worry, I don't want you to get confused or hesitated if you are a beginner or you don't familiar with TypeScript, don't worry, I will create a great tutorial with React Native and TypeScript that you will understand all of that code, so don't worry about that green code, those just for just fix those TypeScript issues, okay? Now we have created our first action, add cart add item to the cart but we have here a bug that number it must be the sum of those two numbers and we want to add here a space and to make those two buttons work add here and remove here so don't miss them the next lessons and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we have great lessons thanks for watching see you in next lesson